Cats and TV. Hey everybody, Cats and TV, and today we are looking at the Moog Mother 32, including the just released V2 firmware. The Mother 32 is a complete analog subtractive synthesis voice, which has its own VCO. There it is. It has a VCF and a VCA. It also has several modulation sources, including an envelope, an LFO, as well as a sequencer and keyboard section. Let's try it out now. Definitely a classic Moog sound. Let's turn off sustain. The pulse width oscillator is quite powerful, especially when you turn on pulse width modulation via the LFO. Okay, now let's turn our attention to the sequencer section. It's basically an 8 to 32 step sequencer. Bring notes by selecting keyboard and then selecting record. Okay, we can now start entering steps into the sequence. All right, let's stop it and now play it back. Okay, I like this pattern, so let's save it up for later. Meanwhile, let's try a more advanced sequence. All right, let's set an accent. And now let's set the next space to be a rest. Let's put another rest. All right, let's uh, finish that up and play it back. Now the newly released V2 firmware focuses on sequencer features. In order to update, you're going to need to attach your Mother 32 to an external MIDI device such as we have here. You also need a SysX application like SysX Librarian for Mac OS. Let us select our output MIDI device here. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. And now we send the Erase firmware. This will cause the tempo light on the Mother 32 to alternate green and red, saying it's ready for the second installment of the Erase SysX file. Let's send it again. Okay, and you can see that the uh, tempo light turns green to say it's ready to receive the new firmware. So let's go back and let's send the new firmware. The MIDI light on the Mother 32 will blink to show that it's receiving the new firmware. And then when it's done, which is just about now, it'll do this whole little uh, 
disco lights thing. And that lets you know that it's successfully uploaded and ready to play. So one of the new features is the different sequencer modes. You can access the different modes by pressing both the KB and step buttons at the same time, and then selecting a number button. One is just the ordinary forward motion. Two is reversed. Three is ping pong, forward and then reverse. And four is random position play. Let's go ahead and have a little fun with random now. Okay, we're now going to demonstrate the new clock division modes, which are handy when you synchronize it to external devices. Here we're going to sync the Mother32 to a sequence in live using the CV Tools clock generator and the Expert Sleepers ES8. For fun, we happen to be routing the drums from the Ableton Live sequence through the Metasonics R54. You can see the tempo light is blinking green to indicate external clock. Let's turn it on now. If we turn the tempo knob while running with an external clock, we get different subdivisions. By default, we get binary subdivisions. If we hold down the KB button while selecting a subdivision, we get triplets. I actually like triplets the best, but we can also get dotted rhythms by selecting the step button at the same time. Okay, in this last jam we're going to put everything together, including having the Make Noise Renee synchronized and controlling the cutoff frequency of the Mother32 filter. To find out more about the Moog Mother 32, including the version 2.0 firmware, please visit moogmusic.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.